Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen and today we have some good news and we also have some bad news. So the bad news is today we'll be reacting to the final episode of Dr. Stone. I know, I know, it hurts, it hurts me too. Honestly, when I'm reacting to these series that are like two seasons long, like 20 something episodes whenever they end it always feels so weird because it's like a part of my routine now and after this it's just gonna be gone so i'm gonna miss it for sure but the good news is a second season has been announced dr stone the stone wars best believe i'm gonna be reacting to it so we do have that to look forward to but anyways in the last episode we have finally finished the prototype to our communication device now there's still a lot that we have to do i'm sure we're gonna have to make it like more small and compact so that yuzuriha and taiju can carry it around without this giant massive machine that everyone's gonna be suspicious of so we need to make it more small compact and we're gonna have to make more of them because we need one for Yuzuriha, one for Taiju, or maybe they both might share one and then we need our own so that we can talk back and forth between each other and they can kind of relate information to us while being in Tsukasa's empire, kind of update us in real time. But I think the coolest part of last episode was definitely Senku going out of his way to make the copper furnaces for everyone because he saw that the kids wanted to help but it was super cold outside, their hands were like shaking and stuff. So he made the furnace for them and not just them but for everyone so that they could be warm, they had their own little huts that they could work in. And that was the moment when the previous village chief, I believe he finally accepted Senku before up until this point Point, he was kind of iffy on him because he did kind of come out of nowhere and he did win and become village chief fair and square but that doesn't mean that he necessarily has to accept him and now i think he finally did because he was able to see that senku cares about this village just as much as anyone else does so with all that out of the way if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice shown content make sure to check out the cloud crowd discord link will be in the description and also consider supporting me and my channel through patreon for as low as two dollars but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode all right so this as you all know is the part of the video where you guys will grab your source videos if you do not have one of your own i will have one linked in the description it'll be the first link that you see when scrolling down so all you got to do is click the link bring up the video and get ready to sync it with me because we will be starting the season finale in get it ready okay three two one go all right <sighs> let's see what's up how are they gonna end this is my like biggest question right now because i don't want them to end it on a cliffhanger That'd suck. Alright, we did all the steps, we got all the components to make this communication device, but it looked pretty big, like there's no way we're gonna be able to walk around with it. So, I think this might be either the one that we hold on to, and then we make smaller ones for Taiju and Yuzuriha, or this was just a test to see if we can make everything and get it to work. And now we're going to make smaller versions for everyone. So I'm definitely interested in seeing where they're going to end this. And I wonder if we're going to see Taiju and Yuzuriha before the season's actually over. Because it's been so long since we've seen them. I wonder if they've changed at all. I mean... I don't know, they probably look the exact same, but who knows? I mean, Taiju, he grew a full-grown, like, massive beard over the winter when we first um, got him out of the stone, so... Who knows, he probably regrew it while working with Tsukasa. Oh, man. I'm just hoping they don't end it on a cliffhanger, man. Please, please. That's all I'm hoping for. Oh yeah, and also, I'm not entirely sure. I know that they announced that there's gonna be another season, but I don't know if they gave a date or not. So if you guys do know, please leave it in the comment section for me 
and for anyone else that's curious. Oh man, that's the OG hut. Communication. Yep. The cell phone. Wait, did no one think of this? Oh, okay. I mean, this is kind of obvious. But is he going to make another massive one? But hey, I mean, it should at least be quicker than last time because now we have everything made. Yeah, we have to make it again, but we have all the materials already. Maybe. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to need a smaller version. There's no way we're sneaking one of those into Tsukasa's territory. Wait, is he jealous? Oh, uh, I think he's poking fun at him now. Dang, is he going to actually? Let's go, Suika, flip the switch. She heard. Oh, oh, he just completely bombed it right there. They were expecting him to say something all emotional. And then it's just Chrome being Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> and she, yeah, that's what I was thinking. How does she know what a speaker is? What? What? In the hundred tails. I okay. Dang, she knows exactly number fourteen. What? Wait, I don't get it. Needles of gravestones, voices of the dead. Tail number 14. Is she? Oh. Oh. So there's a secret there that we have to find out. That only Senku could have deciphered. Well, modern people could have deciphered. Because it took Senku and Gen. Oh. 
Oh, wait, what is it? Oh, what did he leave in it? So did all of them leave one or just him? Oh yeah, this is magma specialty. <laughs> Oh, okay, Kohaku. We broke into it. What is this? Well, it's silver, okay. Wait. So it actually is glass, and Senku is right. Wait, is it like a, um, what is it called? Uh, music. Yeah, yeah! Those things you put inside of the music thing and they spin around and you put the needle down and it plays music. Or maybe not. Am I completely wrong? Oh! Maybe it is? And he... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just spitballing at this point. Let me calm down. Okay, so it's a recording of his voice. So I wasn't completely off. Exactly! Okay, okay. Okay, so I was on the right track. Okay. But how did he capture it in this glass? Hella lit. What? <laughs> okay. So he left a message for Senku. How did he think of this, man? I mean, of course, you have to be smart to become an astronaut, but dang, this is like next level. Dang, this is cool, man. Did he find a glass bottle or something? Yep. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't think he was walking away. It seemed like he was leaving to grab supplies or something. Hey, this music! An electric shaver. Dang! He has the same uh, resourcefulness as Senku. Hmm. 
Dang, whoever this is in the back is spitting bars. Hold up. I wish it was louder. I can barely hear it, but I did catch some things. Dang. She gave up her ring for it. So do they all have their own recordings? Or, oh, maybe they just all talked on the same track together. Dang. I think it's so cool that the last people that survived the petrification event were all, like, pretty smart people. And so they were able to think ahead. And, like, they even left their, like, 100 tales to teach life lessons to people in the future. Like, to their kids, their descendants. Now we're gonna hear what they had to record. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, he knows it's Senku. He knows Senku's the only one. Dang, that's so cool. Oh, he's tearing up. <laughs> he knows Senku well. Oh. Oh, she's going to sing. Oh, snap. They got the guitar. They got the drums. Okay. This is so cool. So this is like the last record of her music. Well, maybe. Maybe there are some CDs that were never- Wait, no, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. <laughs> There's no way a CD made it this long. Man, they're really blown away. Oh, snap. Whoa! Dang, that music actually took her to another place. Oh, man, here comes the montage! Oh, dude. 
Now we're able to see how far we've come. We made the ramen. That's giving her the medicine. Electricity. Christmas. Man. Man, so many good moments in this series. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, man. They don't even know the beginning of it. This was just a taste of entertainment for me. Or I guess modern entertainment. Wow, that was good. All of the world's statues. Dude. Yep, everybody's ready to roll. Dang, Gen knows, man. Gen is a lot more observant than I thought. I don't even remember. What did he say? Oh, dang. Look at that wholesome smile, dude. Yep, the Stone Wars, dude. Yep. Dude, please, we gotta see them. Let's go! Wait! Dude, it's been so long. <laughs> yeah, we're still inside of Tsukasa's empire. Oh, snap! They heard! Oh, we got new villains on the rise! Oh, and then she's back, of course. He's back. Dang, man. Tsukasa's got goons we've never even seen before. And the final battle. Dang. Let's go. Final battle against the Tsukasa Empire. The beginning of the Stone Wars, dude. Let's go. Dude. That signature Senku pose right there. This is exhilarating. Oh, is this a new ending? Oh, season two confirmed, yep.
All right, man, that was good. That oh, dude, I'm at a loss for words, man. That was so good. All right, so that was the end of Doctor Stone season finale episode 24 and i feel like they ended it perfectly they ended it on a really wholesome note they united all of the village to before it seemed like you know everybody was working together to make this communication device we were all on the same page but now it's like everyone's passionate to like further science and figure out all of these mysteries of the past that were lost from all of these years of petrification like before they were kind of just curious to see what it was now it's like oh man we're doing this we're bringing this back that's how it feels at least for me but that final message that senku's dad left it was i love how he started it off with like whoever this is that found this in the future i don't know how long it's been and then he's like no nah, i'm just kidding i know it's you senku i see you over there <laughs> Like he knew the only person that could have possibly figured this out would be Senku and that uh, The fact that he did was so cool, man and Then we got to hear the singing from Lillian and That like touched all of the villagers hearts. That part was so cool. And then the ending Taiju and Yuzuriha Who know how long has it been? It's been like Oh man, it had to have been like almost a year, right? Like almost a year since we've last seen them. And now like Yuzuriha, she still got her short hair and Taiju, he kind of looks the same. I was expecting to see, you know, big beard Taiju, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's it's good to see that they're still like it seems like they're still the same people we know and love. Like being in Tsukasa's empire kind of spying for all this time I'm glad it hasn't changed them like they're still it seems like they're still the people we know and love from before all of this and also we see that there's a lot of new people we still haven't even met so there's a lot to look forward to for sure Stone Wars seems like it's gonna be amazing because this whole time we've just been building up and kind of fortifying our empire and now it seems like our empire the kingdom of science and the kingdom of might are finally going to clash and i can't wait for it man it feels like avengers endgame is coming up like honestly but anyways that is going to be the end of this episode so if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice shown content Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description. And also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to head out. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.